Good morning, everyone. Today is the 2nd of March. There's been much said about the 70th week of Daniel, and I'm, I don't claim to be a Bible scholar. I've heard different interpretations of this. What I'm going to do this morning is I'm going to read the 12th chapter of Daniel, make some comments about it, and then I'm going to have Mark read it as well. It's only 13 verses. And... Um, but anyway, I'm going to start. At that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. This is very similar to what we find in the 24th chapter of Matthew and the parallel passage and passages in, uh, in the book of uh, Mark and Luke. In 24th chapter of Matthew, it says there will be trouble as what this was that nor ever shall be, speaking of the great tribulation. And this is what Daniel's speaking of here. He says, there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, to that, even to that same time. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. So here we have the last resurrection and we have two kinds of people represented those who have been elected from the foundation of the world and recipients of God's grace and those who are not. And he says, They that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and that they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up, the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. I was just commenting to my wife yesterday, you know, one of the things that I think heightens a lot of people's stress and and depression and concern is the fact that how quickly Technology brings information to us throughout the world. I saw a little thing yesterday. I thought it was kind of cute. It says, the old-time Google search program, and it had a file cabinet full of four-by-six cards. The old-time Google search program. That's how we used to find out information, by writing stuff on cards and looking it up. Now we have it instantaneously at our fingertips. He says that knowledge shall be increased. Increased. How quickly you get it, how much you get of it. You can find out virtually about anything you want to just by putting it in a word in a Google search. Any part of the country, any subject, engineering, philosophy, mathematics, science, whatever. Knowledge shall be increased. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two, the one on the side of the bank of the river and the other on the side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever that it shall be for a times and a half, and when he shall accomplish to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. These, this is a lot of people says say, you know, three and a half years or whatever. You know, these would be, I guess, you would call mid tribbers. Um, I am not set in stone on my eschatology because the Bible says that no man knows the day nor the hour. I don't 
think that means that no man knows the season because he says when you see all these things begin to pass look up for your redemption draw it nigh and I heard but I understood not then I said oh my lord what shall be the end of these things and he said go thy way Daniel for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end so he's basically saying the same thing here many shall be purified and made white and tried but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand here we find a distinction again between the wicked and the reprobate but i mean between the wicked and the elect between the reprobate and the elect it says none of the wicked shall understand it will not be revealed to them but the wise shall understand and he says, and from the time of the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. A thousand two hundred and ninety days. Well, if you put, to put 1290 days in your computer and you divide it by 365, that comes up to three and a half years is what it amounts to. Okay, now I'm not, like I said, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not making any predictions of any kind. I'm just reading the Bible here. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that makes the desolate, a lot of people say, well, what is the abomination of desolation? Well, it's, it's a daily sacrifice of some kind, right? We're setting up daily sacrifices. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. Well, what is a thousand three hundred and thirty five days? How what's the length of time on that? Because there's 365 days in a year, right? So it says 3,000, I'm sorry, 1,335 days divided by 365 days is three years and six months. And, okay, basically. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. Okay. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of thy days. Now I want to read one of the scriptures in here again that we saw a little earlier um, in verse 1. It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. I believe we're on the cusp of that. Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book. We find the same thing in the book of Revelation, it says those whose names are written in the Lamb's book of life from the foundation of the world. So we can see a lot of parallel thoughts from Daniel that are repeated in the book of Revelation here at the end of the days. So I'm going to turn this over to Mark and have him read this. And as he reads it, what I'd like for you to do is think about how the, the times we live in apply. Now, you know, again, I don't believe we're in the final great tribulation yet. I personally don't believe that. But I think we're, we're on the cusp of it.
And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even at that same time. At that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall wake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. They that be wise shall shine as a brightness of the firmament, and they that turn men to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut the, up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Then I, Daniel, looked to me, hold, there stood other two, the one on the side of the bank of the river and the other on that side of the bank of the river. One said, the man clothed the linen, which was upon the waters of the river. How long shall it be the end of these wonders? I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand into heaven. Swear by him, live forever and ever, that it shall be for time, times, and a half, and when he shall have accomplished the scatter of power of the holy people. All these things shall be finished. I heard, but I understand, understood not, and said, I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? He said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed until the time of the end. Many shall be purified, and many white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. None of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. From the time that the day of sacrifice shall be taken away, abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. But go thou thy way to the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of thy days. Thank you, Mark. Well, we have the Word of God to go through, too, for our instructions and... I would recommend that you read through the 24th chapter of Matthew again and compare it with the 12th chapter of John. May the good Lord be with you today. God bless.